Hi guys, T here, coming at you for another uh, spur of the moment vlog. I've been kind of bored this weekend, so I thought I would check in with you guys and see what uh, what you guys have been up to. Um, what have I been doing lately? My wife and I have been playing Bug Fables like crazy because you know Nintendo refuses to give us a uh, a Paper Mario that doesn't suck. Um, everybody liked Paper Mario and everybody liked uh, Thousand Year Door, but now it's it's all just like paper and like arts and crafts gimmicks. It's not an art style anymore. So uh, this is probably the finest case of fine, I'll do it myself that I've ever seen because this this nobody uh, development group popped in and is like, yeah, you like Thousand Year Door? We did too. We'll make a game just like it but with bugs instead of Mario characters. And it's really good. <laughs> and everybody I've talked to loves it. So it's like, if you liked Thousand Year Door, go play Bug Fables. I think it was like 30 bucks. It's not even like a fully priced game, but we're like 20 hours in, and I can already tell that, you know, this game was made with love, and that it's uh, it's not as easy as the Paper Mario games were, uh, the first two, that is. Uh, it does expect you to keep up, and it does expect you to learn all of its concepts and devise your own strategies, because past a certain point, it will not hold your hand. So, I appreciate the challenge, and I appreciate being treated like an adult in my cartoon bug world. You, you, know, you know what I mean. Anyway, we've really, really been enjoying Bug Fables lately. We're three or four chapters in, and I can't get enough. It's freaking cool. So we've been doing that a lot lately, staying in out of the heat, because even though I live in Minnesota, it's been like between 88 and 100 degrees for the past week or 10 days, and it's not going to budge for another week or 10 days which is pretty dang miserable. So we've been closing all the curtains and watering all the plants every day and all that good stuff. Um, what else? I've been... I just put out a Shield Maiden, number 18, I think, cosplay day. Uh, I know not many of you guys actually listen to that or pay attention to it, but I still love writing Shield Maiden. It's so much fun. Um, we're halfway through uh, the stalwart Shield Maiden. The first like story arc was just called Shield Maiden, and then the second one is called the stalwart Shield Maiden. We're halfway through already, and putting out an issue every month has been like really good on my schedule. So I feel like I'm doing something creative and uh, editing, and I have Conrad doing the art etc etc it feels like I'm always at least doing something creative and that makes me happy the next issue is probably going to be um, more of a uh, an Anubis and Benefactor episode because you know while we're going on with the main storyline their their romance has kind of been brewing well that's gonna start paying off pretty soon uh, for those of you that even know what I'm talking about <laughs> Um, I wish Shield Maiden was as popular as D&D &D Stories was when we were doing that, but it's just, it's, it's not the same audience. So, you know, I wish I knew somebody who was, like, really into comic books or had, like, some, some bigger voice in the comic book community so I could say, hey, I wrote all this stuff, it's really cool, you should tell your comic book buddies about it, but I just don't know anybody like that, so... <laughs> Uh, it's a labor of love, and I do love it, so it's not going to end anytime soon. I've already got, like, God, three or four other story arcs that I want to go through, and we're at, like, one and a half right now. You know, we're, we're 18 chapters, 18 issues in, and I've already got plans up to, like, 48, I think. So, plenty more coming, those of you that are fans of the series. Uh, it is hard to tell sometimes because mo a lot of people don't comment, and if you get like a hundred views and no comments, sometimes it feels like you're shouting into the void and nobody's listening, but I'm having fun. Hopefully somebody else out there is having fun too. You know, I, I count it as success if it gets like five comments. <laughs> but 
um, I built up my fan base on D and D, and I don't do D and D anymore, so I understand. What else have I been up to? Been playing a little bit of Pokemon Go, uh, not a lot, because you know there's there's a lot of places you just can't go right now. What with the uh, the uh, Backstreet Boys reunion tour, and you know you don't want tickets to that, so. Um, Folks are being crazy, and, and I've already told you guys that, you know, I chop vegetables for a living in the, uh, the food industry, and I tell you, the number of stupid people that think this is over, or think they have a right to walk around with no mask and no gloves, touching everything and coughing on people, you're part of the goddamn problem. You know, and I have always been in the camp of believing that, yeah, we're due for a new plague, but my god, doesn't it suck during, during the event itself? Because this isn't going away anytime soon. And there's people out. There's people out with their children, sitting at like restaurants that have picnic tables that you know they don't they don't freaking peroxide those wooden picnic tables. Who the hell are you kidding? And you know your your five year old could get this and transfer it to your your 88 year old mother and wonder why you know you took every precaution no no you fucking didn't wear a mask stay home people are so goddamn self-entitled and you know working in the food industry it's extra 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 strict right now we have to wear a mask when we're in the building we have to change gloves every hour. We douse everything in alcohol, peroxide, and other sanitizers. We have to wash our hands constantly. And if the public did half of what I have to do every day at work, this might have been over by now. But they're talking about record numbers in Florida. And Fourth of July certainly didn't help with everybody going, gathering up together, even though they're not fucking supposed to. You know, here in America, we, we're so self-entitled. My fucking God. But my rights! Fuck your rights. People are dying. I anyway, that's just me venting. I'm, I'm staying home. I'm wearing a mask. I'm taking care of my, my tiny backyard I showed you guys last time. I'm keeping my head down. I'm not going anywhere until somebody that, you know, has a doctorate in medicine says, oh, we have a vaccine now, or, you know, hey, now this is over, or, you know, it's chewed through the whole population, so everybody's either dead or inoculated by contact by now. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, and you shouldn't either, or you're part of the fucking problem. Um... What else have I been up to? I've been doing uh, uh, Call of Cthulhu. I, I know some of you guys have been watching that with me. Uh, I have already completed the game, and I, I completed it before I posted part one, because my new computer is so nice that it can record hours and hours and hours of footage uh, uh, without making the hard drive explode. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, I think we're like a third of the way through, uh, I, I did some time measurement stuff. I think Call of Cthulhu is going to be like 25 parts, 30 parts, somewhere in there. And we're on part eight right now. I want to give Shield Maiden a few days to kind of be my latest video. So it'll gather what little views that it can. And then we'll switch back to Call of Cthulhu and just do one part per day like we were doing. Um, what else? I've been... I got uh, a couple more high school DxDs. I don't know if I think I did show you last time uh, that I've been reading a lot of manga lately. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's borderline porn, but <laughs> it's it's still fun. You know, I am not ashamed of what I read. Also. I was, I've been reading, uh, rereading Beastars because the next issue of Beastars 
uh, number seven comes out, I think, on the 27th of July. Uh, so, it, it, as a manga, in English, it comes out, like, one volume every other month, which is really fucking slow, by the way, because the show uh, that's on Netflix right now, which is a great show and you should watch it, the first season covered, like, five and a half uh, of the manga volumes, and if they're going to have a season two this year, which is already slated and it's going to come out, uh, if that goes through another five and a half issues, they'll outstrip the manga by like four and a half volumes. I'd kind of like to read it first, but if it comes out on Netflix, I'm not going to be able to resist it because I love Beastars. I think it's great. I love Anthro stuff. Is Tony a furry? Yes. I thought I'd kind of subtly put that in front of you guys for the past five years, but, you know, some people don't get it. Um, what else? I got three more issues of Full Metal Alchemist. My wife ordered them for her birthday, but we both love the series, so. It's the old, it's the old silverbacks. I don't know if you guys ever remember seeing these. They release them in compilations now of like three volumes per, uh, uh, issue, but the old, the older ones came out in these like silverback editions. Some of them were holographic, but they were really ugly. Um, but, uh, I think there's like 36 of them or something like that. We've got the first 16 and we'll probably get more of them as time goes on. I tell you what I'm looking forward to though, is, uh, there's gonna be another lock and key soon. Uh, it's, uh, well, if the Backstreet Boys reunion tour hasn't ruined it, uh, lock and key and Sandman are gonna have a crossover, supposedly, in October of this year. If that didn't get pushed back, because if, for those of you that haven't read Sandman, one of the important story arcs is that the key to hell is up for grabs. And the Sandman, the king of dreams, comes into possession of the key, the key to hell. And one of the story arcs is all the different people from all different religions, all different spirits and stuff from different places all want the key to hell and they come to the Sandman to tell him why they should have it and nobody else. And it's a big, interesting storyline. But Lock and Key is all about crazy keys and the magic powers that they have. So apparently the key to hell is going to pop up in Lock and Key as a crossover with Sandman. So I can't wait. That's going to be so cool. Uh, what else? Uh, I haven't been up to a lot lately. Like I said, I've been sitting on my butt, uh, staying out of the heat other than watering my plants and going to work. Um, I've been watching a lot of Hermitcraft lately. Um, I love Minecraft, but I refuse to play it by myself, and I've been burned too many times by servers that just disappear or servers that are run by children, or servers that are not well protected from hackers and uh, uh, trolls and things like that. So I, I enjoy watching people on YouTube play Minecraft, and Hermitcraft is my favorite one because it's like 30 fucking people, uh, all of which are Minecraft YouTubers, but they're all together in on one server with uh, names like Grian, and Mumbo Jumbo, and Iskow, and, and, uh, False Symmetry, and it's like, it's a, it's a giant cast of people, and they're always, like, pranking each other, and screwing with each other, they, they had an election to see who should be mayor of the, of the Hermitcraft server, because they have, like, a shopping district where everybody sells each other things for diamonds, and that's how their economy works on the server. And they decided they had to have a mayor. So for the past three months, everybody who wants to be mayor of the shopping district, and God knows what powers that will give them, uh, everybody's been campaigning to be mayor, and they just elected uh, uh, a guy called Good Times with Scar to be mayor. And he's supposedly he's going to like terraform the entire shopping district to make it nice and pretty and things like that. But it's fun to watch because you can see like the same uh, the same server 
from like 30 different perspectives and everybody's got their own rivalries and, and pranks and, and agendas going on. It's very interesting to follow. Um, but yeah, that's, I don't, I don't really watch TV anymore. I just have YouTube. <laughs> um, I was watching the anime Tower of God recently, but I kind of tapered off. I, I know it's only like 13 episodes right now, but eh. What else? Um, I was watching a different anime. I forgot what it was. It was like Life Life with Monster Girls or something like that. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's a fan service anime. But... Um, is, is like one guy living with a Lamia and a centaur and a mermaid and a slime and like all these monster girls that uh, the world of magic and the mundane human world is coming together finally to desegregate and so he's he's like playing host and they're supposed to integrate into human society so that both sides don't kill each other on site, etc, etc. So there's lots of boobies and hijinks and it's really funny and I like it, so meh. <laughs> um, what else? Like I said, I, I haven't been up to a ton lately because I'm trying to avoid the, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour and thumb my nose at everybody who thinks it's okay to walk around in the supermarket with no mask and no gloves, you know, pick up a watermelon and turn it over with your bare fucking hands and then put it back. And, you know, people that think they have a right to a haircut and a right to fucking have birthday parties of 50 people, you're part of the fucking problem. And just like, rare be it that I say I'm better than you, but there are people, even people close to me, that are just inviting this nonsense onto themselves and I can't feel sorry for any of them and in the the year or two when this is over and the dust has settled I feel like a lot of relationships are going to be irreversibly changed like even with me and my inner circle of friends or or family members or what have you and they know who they are um, this hasn't happened in the past hundred years and the US healthcare system is shit and if you're just choosing not to take precautions you're part of the problem sorry I, I know I keep bounding off it's it's in the news it's on the radio it's like you can't even see you can't even get the weather anymore you turn on the radio good morning coronavirus is it gonna rain later I don't know. Coronavirus! Or Backstreet Boys Reunion Tour! <laughs> Whatever we're calling it so YouTube doesn't demonetize us. Backstreet Boys Reunion Tour is my favorite. Um, I guess that's all for now. That's kind of what I've been up to. Just kind of keeping my head down. Enjoying bug fables. Enjoying manga. Etc. Etc. So... This was just an, a spur-of-the-moment vlog. I hope you guys are doing okay. Let me know what you're up to. I hope you're being safe. See you next time.